Hello students and welcome. This is the second video on derivatives. We've learned what a derivative is. Now let's look at some of the most basic derivatives used in calculus. Trust me, you will be using these derivatives many times in your fluid mechanics class. Let's start with the derivative of a function multiplied by a constant. Suppose we have a function. That function will be called f. And suppose that it is multiplied by a constant k. Now, what happens when we want to take the derivative of k, f? Let's say that f varies with respect to x, and we want to take that derivative with respect to x. You see, we'll find later that the derivative of k, f with respect to x will be equal to k times the derivative of f with respect to x. This is going to be much more evident when we learn a little bit about the rules of differentiation. But for now, just take my word on it. Next, we will look at power functions. What if we want to find the derivative with respect to x of a function x to the power of n? Notice that we've actually done this. In the previous video, we found the derivative of x squared, which was 2x. But let's generalize this a little bit so that we can apply this for a function elevated to the power of any exponent. The derivative with respect to x of x to the power of n will be equal to n times x to the power of n minus 1. We're not really going to go over the entire derivation of this derivative, but you can find it in any basic calculus textbook. As an example, let's find the derivative of kx. In this case, k is a constant, x is a variable. Now, from our rule on constants, we know that the derivative with respect to x of kx is equal to k times the derivative with respect to x of x. And in this case, let's say that x is just elevated to the power of 1, since that's just saying the same thing. We can apply our law for power functions and say that the derivative of x to the power of 1 is equal to 1 times x to the power of 1 minus 1. Of course, x to the power of 0 is just 1. Therefore, the derivative with respect to x of kx is simply k. Now let's look at exponential functions. Instead of having x to the power of a constant, let's say we're looking at a constant elevated to the power of x. In this case, the derivative with respect to x of a to the power of x will be a to the power of x times the natural logarithm of a. Of course, this applies for a greater than 0. As an example, let's try to find the derivative with respect to x of e to the power of x. We see, following this rule, that that derivative will be e to the power of x times the natural logarithm of e. But we also know that the natural logarithm of e is just 1. Therefore, the derivative of e to the power of x is simply e to the power of x. This is going to be very useful because exponential functions are very common in fluid mechanics. Now let's look at logarithmic functions. Suppose we want to find the derivative of the natural logarithm of x. In this case, the derivative will be 1 over x. And once again, this applies for x greater than 0. These four basic derivatives are pretty common and pretty well known among students. However, when we get into trigonometric functions, students seem to forget their derivatives. Let's find the derivative of sine of x. The derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. The derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. And the derivative of tangent of x is 1 plus tangent squared of x, or simply secant squared of x. This is actually something that we can find with a rule called the product rule, but we'll learn about that later. Finally, let's look at inverse trigonometric functions. What if, instead of finding the derivative of the sine of x, we would like to find the derivative of the inverse sine of x, or arcsine of x? This derivative is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Of course, this applies for x in between negative 1 and 1. The derivative of the inverse cosine of x, or arc cosine of x, is equal to negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And once again, this applies 
4x in between negative 1 and 1. The derivative of the inverse tangent of x, or arctangent of x, is 1 over 1 plus x squared.